Hey friends, it's Justine, and today we're doing a what's on my iPhone 10. Now this is an updated version because I did one of these when I first got my phone. But when I get a new phone, I completely start over. So I basically start from absolutely nothing. So that video was the first few weeks of when I got my phone. So now obviously many, many, many months later, I have many, many more apps. Some of which, as I was just scrolling through here, I was like, girl, you gotta clean this up. Like some of this stuff, you don't even use it. So here's my first page. We've got the calendar. We have Apple Maps, Google Maps, the clock, phone, notes, App Store, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, HQ Trivia. If you guys haven't added me on HQ Trivia yet, feel free to download it and be sure to use iJustine as your referral code. I still haven't wanted HQ Trivia. Like, it makes me very, very upset. I play so much and it's just, ugh, I can't. Facebook, Amazon, Amazon Prime, Apple TV Remote, which I use very, very frequently, YouTube, YT Studio. That's an app for creators where we can get analytics, we can edit descriptions, we can edit thumbnails, all kinds of stuff for people who are creating YouTube videos. Settings, very important. Starbucks, Spotify, Last Day on Earth, which is a really fun game. Google Translate on my homepage because I feel like when I was traveling to Austria a while ago, I was using this so often that I needed it front and center. Fortnite, I still haven't posted any Fortnite gameplay. I have to do this for you guys. So so far, the mobile version is really, really fun. It's a lot better than I thought it was. I played Fortnite originally on Xbox before it was even the Battle Royale version that it is now. So I feel like I need to go back and play because I really, really enjoy that game a lot. Next page, we have Android Wear, which I use with my Michael Kors Android Watch. And this folder is the Stuff folder, which is all just the Apple standard apps, which are really uninteresting to me. We've got the weather, news, stocks, reminders, iTunes store, iBooks, health, wallets, photos, FaceTime, podcast, compass, find iPhone, find my friends, tips, voicemails, contacts, files, blah, 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 blah. you get the point. Next up we have Netflix, Facebook Messenger, Uber, Venmo, Dropbox, the Apple Store app, the Activity app, PayPal, Clips, Tumblr, Saucy, for those of the drinking age, you can have alcohol delivered to your doorstep. Sometimes it gets here within 15 minutes and it's shocking. Fancy a Chardonnay? There's an app for that. Here's my little games folder, which I feel like needs to be updated because there are some games on the front page. Cookie Jam, Cookie Jam Blast, Jedi Challenges, Goat Simulator, Best Fiends Forever, Best Fiends and the Destiny 2 companion app. Play Memories Mobile, this is what I use to get photos off of my Sony camera. Segway 9 Bots, that's what I use with my little Segway, which I haven't used very often. And I'm man, I miss that thing. We need to bring hoverboards back. Equinox, it's gym I go to. Zillow, it's a real estate app. Quick, that's for creating clips on the GoPro. DJI Go 4, that's for flying my drone. Philips Hue, controlling my lights. Cube, that's a period app, so <laughs> that's a thing. LF Connect, that's an app that I can scan the QR code on a treadmill and then it syncs to my phone to let me know how fit I am attempting to get. 824, that's what I use to get food delivered to my house. Sonos for listening to music. Pocket Camp, so that's the Animal Crossing Nintendo game. Didn't really play it much, but when I did at the beginning, it was really fun. I love Animal Crossing and I cannot wait until they release something for the Switch. I will be freaking out. GoPro, that's the app that I use to connect to my GoPro. Pretty self-explanatory. Amazon Alexa, what I use, oh shoot, sorry. Sorry, sorry. C by GE, that's actually the light that was talking to me because I reset it. So it's telling me to reconnect it. Google Drive, Lemonade. This is like some Hillary and uh, Trump stickers, but it also has a bunch of other stickers that you can download. Washos and Spiffy are both car wash apps so that people come to your house and clean your car. Next door, it's like a neighborhood social network. UPS, Fandango, Caffeine. Caffeine is actually really fun. I've been working with them for a while. It's a really cool live streaming platform, so if you haven't checked it out, feel free. Soothe, that's an app that you can get massages at your house. It's crazy living in a big city because you can honestly find an app for anything. Like you could potentially never leave your house and have everything delivered to you. If that isn't Black Mirror, I don't know what is. Apple support, it's important. American Airlines, Postmates, another food delivery. I think we all know what Postmates is. Disneyland, so I use that when I'm at Disney to see how long lines are. Fly Delta, Swarm, it's kind of like a location-based social network, which not too many people use, but me and my sister still do. Southwest, Visco, that's a photo editing app, which I'm sure many of you have heard of. Tweetbot, Uber Eats, more food delivery. Open Table, food reservations. Open Table, restaurant reservations. Bitmoji, My Fitness Pal, Jiffy, Brooke Burke Body, which I've actually been doing her workouts and I love Brooke Burke. She's probably just, uh, I love her. She's my favorite. Video Shop, Realtor.com, Box. 
That is the app that connects to my Bitdefender so I can kind of monitor my home Wi-Fi security. Poop Troop, meet the Poop Troop. <laughs> Probably one of my most favorite sticker packs. <laughs> Moving on, Facebook Creator. CES, that's what I was using when I was at CES. Resi, another restaurant reservation service. You guys notice the trend here? <laughs> like food. UAV zones, that's an app I use to see if it's safe to fly my drone in particular areas. Mobile pass, something that I use to get back into the country. It's like a mobile passport. Audible, today's video is not sponsored by Audible, by the way. Verbo and Airbnb. I think you guys all know what Airbnb is. Those are basically the same thing. Arts and culture, that's the Google app that you can use to take a picture of yourself and it'll match you with some sort of piece of history or art that you look like. It's strange. Healthmate, that connects to my Nokia scale. Chrome, I love Hue is a fun little game. It's kind of like a color matching thing. Bird, you basically can open the app and you can find a little scooter that is somewhere nearby. You go up to the scooter, open the app, click unlock, and then you take the scooter and go, and then you leave the scooter on the side of the road for the next person. Yeah, it's a thing. Wix, I think you guys know what Wix is. That's who is hosting my new website, ijustine.com. And I'm sure many of you guys potentially could have seen the pre-roll ad of the commercial before this video. If you did, raise your emoji hands. Grubhub, more food delivery. Yelp, Lyft, HomeKit, SoundCloud, Pinterest, Feedback. This is the app that I use to give feedback because I am running a beta of iOS on here. DJI Go, Marco Polo, Zappos, Google Clips, Bloomingdale's, Nordstrom, Headspace, it's a cool meditation app, British Airways, I always mispronounce this airline, Luft. Oh man, oh, I didn't even tell you guys what's at the bottom. We've got messages, email, a lot of email, Safari, and my camera. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know if you guys have any of the similar apps that I have. Are there any apps that I'm missing that I should definitely download? Leave all of your suggestions in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.